Hello all and welcome back to the channel. This is Ketul Patel and today we are going to see that how we can capture image and review that image in an image view using Android Studio. So let's start the tutorial without wasting time. So here I have Android Studio. Uh, we'll go to our Android activity main dot xml and here we will create our first we will create a button web content content and we will give ID over here so team And we will set our gravity to the center. And we will set text for it. Now, over here, what we will do is we will create an image view. And we will give with match parent and height will be wrap content. Now let give it ID So it will be inside and we will set our tonality. So what it will do is it will set our image view in the bottom of this. And let's close this. Let's give this a match parent. So you can see that this is a whole image view, and this is our button for capturing the image so it will open the camera now what we will do is we will go to our main activity dot java and over here we will write our backend code so for that first we will uh, get our both components that is button camera btn Zoom for you, and then image view. It is now here and on create method. We will get both the so it will camera between as equal to will cast it with button and find view by ID. So that will be r dot ID dot camera. btn so this was the id that we have created in our activity main xml and same for image view as a to will cast it with image view and your id is r dot id dot image view Now what we will do is uh, 
we will create uh, on click right click uh, on click listener event for our camera button so for that camera button dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener now here what we will do is we will create intent intent will be camera intent is equal to new intent and here we will get our camera that is media tour dot action underscore image underscore capture and semicolon to close it and now we will do start activity for result so we'll do start activity for the result because the image which we will capture we will show that in image view so we need a result for that so camera intent and comma we will pass a image request code that is one two three now after this what we will do is now after this what we will do is uh, we will get that uh, result and show it in image view for so for that we will write protected void and here we will write on activity result and in this the first we will get our result code then first we will get our request code so in so in this first we will get our request code so for that end request code comma then we will get our result code and at the end we will get our intent the data now in this what we will do is first we will check if request code is equal to 123 then we will create a bitmap uh, so it will it is a data structure to store an image file so bitmap uh, photo is equal to we will cast it with a bitmap and then data dot get extras dot get and here we will write data So now what we'll do is we'll set this bitmap into the image view to display the image. So for that we have to write our image view dot set image bitmap as we have created a bitmap and we will pass our bitmap that is photo. So uh, this is the this is now our code is created. So don't uh, just pause the video and copy it from here. Uh, I have a link in description. You can go there and you can check out the code I have uploaded. So now we will test our code and let's see if it is working properly or not. So now as you can see that. Uh, our application is running and now when we will cl click on our camera button it will open our camera so let's click on camera uh, it, 
like it's asking for the permission so click allow now we will capture the image so let's click here so you can see that uh, the image is shown in the image view so this is how you can uh, open the camera capture the image and show it in the image view so if you want this code i have a link in the description you can go and check out if you like the video press like button subscribe to the channel and stay connected for more of the tutorials thank you for watching